Hello, YouTube. This is Christian from Titanic Games, and with me today is John. John, you want to introduce yourself? Hi, I'm John from Titanic Games. Uh, today we are going to be covering uh, the basic uh, navigation through the 3D viewport of Blender, as well as what most of the different windows in the uh, load-up file are and uh, what they are used for. So, John, if you'd like to go over some of the camera controls for us. Okay, first you got your uh, your scroll wheel. If you scroll in and out it's kind of like a zoom zoom function and then if you press the middle mouse button and you hold it you kind of like roam all around the world it's pretty unique um, and then if you press shift with the middle mouse button you move sideways and up and down it like moves the camera with you so in total we've got zoom We've got just moving like statically kind of, and then we've got shift with the middle mouse button and moving all crazily and whatnot. Am I missing any? Am I missing any camera functions, Christian? Uh, no, that about that about sums it up. You've got your uh, your zooming, your orbiting, and your panning. So that's orbiting. That's, oh, that's a good word for it. Orbiting and panning. Mm -hmm. um, so those are the basics of the uh, Let me get camera to... camera navigation. Um, so. The camera navigation occurs within the main window that you'll be using while you're in Blender, which is the 3D viewport, uh, which is that big one with all the uh, all the real estate in the middle that shows you the cube. Um, there's a couple other objects uh, over on the left. You have a uh, camera object um, that will be, uh, if you were to render your scene, it would be viewed from that camera uh, floating on the left side of the viewport. Uh, and then over on the right, you have a light source. Um, and this is the basic... Uh, scene that Blender starts you with uh, when you load up the file for the first time. Uh, on the left uh, of the 3D viewport uh, is a toolbar. Uh, it is not its own um, separate uh, window. It's part of the 3D viewport, uh, and it contains a lot of different tools that you use for modeling or um, tweaking different objects within the 3D viewport. Um, and that can be toggled on and off with T. Uh, and there's also a properties panel on the right side of the 3D viewport. If you click N, uh, that will open your properties panel, uh, which applies to whatever object you currently have selected more often than not, uh, especially in terms of things like the location, rotation, and scale. Uh, now down on the bottom, uh, we have the um, timeline, uh, which if you're doing animation is where you scrub through um, the various frames. Uh, it, the default setting is 1 to 100, or 100, wow, 1 to 250 frames, um, and you can slide between all of them. Um, but that's mainly used for animation. Um, and then over on the right, uh, we have two different panels. Uh, we have the outliner, which is the one on top, which shows you all the different objects you have within the scene. So there you can see it has our camera, our cube, and our lamp. Uh, and then underneath is the main um, properties window, window uh, that contains all the different settings pertaining to the scene and objects that you may have. Um, it is um, dependent on what object you have selected for some of the settings. Um, but for example, this first panel shows you um, both the different uh, render settings, uh, so what resolution you're rendering at, um, what frame range you're rendering if you're rendering an animation, um, what the frame rate is, um, various other panels up at the top, which can, we can go over in depth at another time, um, provide, with you, provide you with a lot of other tools um, to better control uh, the appearance of your scene through things like modifiers or um, textures. So, uh, the only other toolbar that we need to go over uh, is that along the top, the top toolbar, um, which gives you your various settings, uh, your file for saving, um, or uh, your render for um, if you want to render the image out of there instead of out of the properties panel. Um, uh, additionally, the uh, Blender Render drop-down menu. Um, you can switch between Blender Render and Cycles Render. Blender Render was the initial rendering engine that Blender used um, that had um, a lot of 
uh, weird quirks to it and never really got you very good um, realistic images. Um, so they have since created Cycles Render, uh, which is a little bit slower, if I'm not mistaken, um, but provides you with much better uh, and more realistic um, renders in terms of lighting and um, how a scene appears um, after uh, lighting calculations. So that is all we have in terms of toolbars for Blender for the basics. Um, that will get you around the viewport uh, and you're more than welcome to start looking around some of the different panels um, until we come back next video and explain uh, some more details about these different panels. Thanks for watching.